Hey guys, this is me, Rich. We are out in a, actually we had last week, we were in a, a small little town. Uh, we got a neat permission and there was a schoolhouse and a church. We just got the church permission now. So we're actually over here doing it. I got my first fun. We got a couple pieces of clad. Um, today we got me. We also got Dave. Got me. We got a new friend. His name is uh, Zach. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, and we uh, were just kind of hanging out. He wanted to. We we kind of met up with him and wanted to get a good permission and detect. And hopefully, we do get something here. But the ground's a lot better than the school. The school was like all rock and gravel. So I did get my first find. Let me flip you around and check it out. All right. So it was reading twenty six twenty seven, and it is a. Yeah. So here's a. It, it looks like a ring. Actually, it may be two two rings. I haven't broke open broken it open actually it might be two rings it is two rings oh <gasps> no that's cool so these could have been like marriage rings of some sort together but i do feel like it's heavy so it's probably sterling uh if i see a mark on it i will definitely come back and show you but as of right now that's the first good find and i'm pretty happy about it and keep on going all right guys so I did clean it up a little. I don't see a marking. It does have a little bit of weight, so it has to be silver. Um, what I think of this is, which I'm almost positive, this used to be a church. There's a, ch a church foundation still there. I bet you they had their reception back here. This was like a memento for the wedding of someone down the line in the, you know, what, 1820s? No, I'm kidding. Probably not that old. But, you know, we're throwing a number out there. Why not? Um, but it's a... I think they're just bond together, like, you know, yeah. like a, a matrimony type thing. Um, I did crack the one when I was cleaning it up, but there's no, it was just made that way. And it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy. That's my first signal here and first signal of the day. And it is drizzling and That's all right. the breeze is getting know. a little chillier and I didn't bring a jacket. So if I start chattering my teeth because it's freezing, you'll know why. All right. We'll see you guys on the next hole. All right. Zach got something cool. Uh, I, I don't think it's super old. I really don't, but it's something different. Uh, it looks like a little chessboard or a checkerboard. It was a button of some sort. The shank would have been right in the center. Uh, it could have been like an old coat button or, you know, checkers button for... Or just like a pin. Right, it could have been a pin too, but I don't, I don't think it was. A great helper. That's a great one. So, but it is aluminum, um, and it's a good find. We're finding a lot of change in Wheaties right now, but let's go. Let's keep on going rewind uh i hit this spot i just did from here all the way down i find eight dimes all clad two wheat pennies and one regular penny and i'm like oh, i'll start cutting up through here and get into the yard he's like oh you have a lot of holes over here and i go yeah i stopped digging the signals because it was only just like modern pennies and modern dimes and he goes oh well, there's a number here it was like 25 i was reading a penny signal uh yeah he trumped me here he uh kind of went in my <laughs> he kind of went in and he uh he definitely got silver and it almost looks like a barber like it looked oh my friend i don't know actually oh my gosh it's an o2 this might be a seated what or uh here go in my pouch okay go in my pouch there should be a water bottle in there let's spray that bad boy off that's o Orlan uh, orleans uh new orleans mean new orleans mint okay. uh this is gonna be exciting we're gonna do the big reveal though because we have no idea yet how did I miss? How did I miss this? I'm so upset right now. <laughs> Go ahead, click it. Ah, oh, this is insane. Go ahead. Well, we got. Oh, it's pretty too. I really hope it's. It's. It might be a barber, but we'll see. Let's give it a loose. There it goes. All right, to give it a spray now. It's a barber. Oh, beautiful. All right, give it a good squirt. Let's get a date on there. 1905, 1905 Barber Dime. How did you do that? Like you're so freaking All these lucky. Holes, right? I literally, yeah, hole, 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 and I heard another signal in between. I'm like, oh god, it's gonna be another penny. This is why you should never do that because, honest to goodness, that's exactly what happens. You get another person come in and just trump you and just take it away. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad you found it, and at least uh, we didn't leave it in the ground. Great job, dude. Awesome. All right, well, the rain's coming. We must be getting good cognitivity because, um, so when I was telling you it was a 25, and this is why I didn't dig it because I just dug a ton of different pennies and stuff. I'm like, it's another penny. So there's the reason why. There was another coin in there and it had to have been a spilt. There's a good possibility with the 1905 Barber, it is maybe an Indian. So I'm gonna give it a nice little 
clean right on camera just because. And if it's not, that's okay too. Oh my gosh, it's really stuck on there. And uh, actually Dave's over there because he just got a silver too. So we're going to get over to him as well. Um, let me see if I can get this a little cleaned up. <laughs> I can't yeah. see a thing on this thing. All right, let me get this cleaned up. We'll get right back at you. And then we're going to go, I'll walk it over to Dave's hole so we can do both at the same time. All right, we'll get right back at you. All right, there's a reason why this guy is dancing. And it's not because it's a 19 1900 uh, Indian head penny that uh, Zach got, which is awesome. And that's the reason why we did it. Um, so we actually came over to his hole. He briefly looked. He said, it's a what? I what do you think it, it was? like a Merc. I he, just said he, he said it's a Merc, it. but it's okay. It's still because silver. Guess what? It's not a Merc. He didn't even touch it. Or? He just didn't look at it. It's a seeded dime. God, Are you kidding so me? Awesome. Do you have your water? Uh, I've got to fill it. Oh, uh, we. I have it in my pouch. That's insane. Water. Are yeah. you kidding me? 1891 <laughs> seeded dime. <laughs> And it's an O mint mark. Another one. Oh 1891 my God. O <laughs> silver seeded Liberty dime. One for one. That is epic. And now he regrets going all the way over there and coming. No, he's probably happy no, he no, came I back am. over. Now you're kind of happy he yeah. came back over. Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. Dude, that's amazing. Wow. And I'm so excited. And you got to be here for it. Heck yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I said it was a seeded. Oh my gosh, that is. It's in beautiful condition, dude. Now we're starting to find some. Let's go. We're going to keep on going. Absolutely. What was it reading? 25, 26. See, what's 26? going on? 25? Yeah, it wasn't that high. They're not what, reading what, super what high. What are you on? Park? Park one. Park one? That's okay. crazy. So, all right. That wasn't far. Uh, no, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. There might be another far. one in here. Major reason why it was going uh, dude, a weird just... number. So. Wow. Right, no, uh, I'm going to hold on to this, Dave. I'm not going to let you have it. We'll hold on to it. I'll put it in my pouch. I'll scratch it all up and say, oh, I don't know what happened. All right, see ya. Now we're getting a video, guys. We we literally were at a permission this morning. We thought it was going to be fantastic, but it was all aluminum. I didn't even pull the camera out. Um, yeah, now we're hitting it pretty hard, and we got another uh, Indian, a 1907 Indian head penny. That is gorgeous. Actually, that's a real pretty one. It's like in good shape. 1907. Right, one more year. One more year you would have had possible mint mark on it. Yeah. Great, great job, dude. Thank you, man. All right, so we're on a roll right next to where he found that barber. Dave found the silver seated over there. We have a 32, 33 sitting here right in the center. We're going to live dig it just because, you know, he's kind of new. He doesn't know the whole idea. Let's jinx him and do a live dig for him. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just kind of fitting. So, all right, you ready to dig it? Hold on, wait. Oh. I lost it. It's up here. It's near that spot. There we go. Oh, it's reading good. Let's make it good. Let's be a silver quarter today. It might be a barber right next to it. Like just, or an SLQ. You have an SLQ yet? No. Oh, man. I think you're cutting right into it, but that's okay. Just keep on going. Whopper over. Let's see it right on the flip. Yeah. Bitch is down there yet. Oh boy. It's right in the center. Oh. Let's see. Move the rock. Oh, it's right there. I see it. I think it's a regular. Ah, I got him. Got him. Yes. I'm not saying yes. That's mean. That was so mean. Hey, I didn't mean this. That's as red as your let's, dime. You let's, just found yeah, it. I just found a dime. It was super red. Let's see if it's a 65 to be even a bigger kicker. That's my luck. One year off. It is actually a 60, 68, I think. So really close. It could have been silver. <laughs> really could have seen. Actually, it might be a 60. I don't know what a year it is. I have no idea, guys. It's 60 something. Way to go, dude. I'm proud of you. I'm so happy for you. I love the live dig. It's so awesome. much fun. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Yeah, 15, 16 could be a cool relic or garbage. But Dave got another Indian. He is killing it today. He doesn't have the dais right now because his uh, he forgot his headphones, so he's using the Knox, which doesn't have the headphones either, I which is kind of funny. The other one just to try it out. So uh, yeah. we got a 1901 Indian head penny. Nice job, dude. Man, Keep yes. on going. Yeah, All right, Dave started. hit the 1800s now. Way to go. Oh, he, that's the second one. You got the yeah. silver for 1800s. Yeah. Uh, he got a he got a, another Indian 1896 Indian head penny. Dude, I'm hoping. I'm There's I'm, I'm struggling here, guys. Man. I am struggling. I'm hoping to find an old coin. All I keep getting is Wheaties is the oldest. A 1913 Wheatie. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to find the uh, half dollar 
that. The barber half. Let's do that. Uh, yeah. Let's go. I got another weedy, but it's an older weedy, and it's a 1909. Let me flip you. I don't always check the dates, but it kind of looked uh, a little bit old, and it was ringing in the Indian numbers, so I was like, ah, it's got to be one of the older Indian head pennies. Um, it's going to be hard to see there, but it had the 190, and it's the only year it would be is 1909. So I did check for an S. I don't think so, and I don't see a VDB, but it is still 1909, and I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm on the board with something cool besides those rings and hoping to get something else. And Roy showed up. Hi, Roy. <laughs> Hello. What's up, buddy? And uh, yeah, so we were gonna actually be heading out to go to one of his permissions over by his house, but uh, we had to have him go over here because we had been getting really lucky. So uh, we're gonna keep on going and hopefully find some more stuff. And he got silver, so let's not stop <laughs> filming because this is what people do. They just show up and just get some stuff. It's a Merc. It's a Merc. Well, he got silver. I'm the only one that doesn't have silver yet, but that's okay. I'm all right with it. I'm not going to cry. Uh, it is a 1944 no mint mark mercury head dime, buddy. Great job, Roy. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. I shouldn't cry. It's, it wouldn't be a good thing. Not on film, right? Hey. All right, Roy. Good job, dude. Congrats. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys. I'm going to let you guess what he has. I mean, he's not doing a dance, so it's probably not silver, but yep. take a guess. What do you think it is, guys? Uh, one, two, three, and guess. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll give it to you. It is a um, 1904 Indian head penny. How many do you have 1894. for? 1894. Is it 1904? No, it is 1904. Okay. Yeah. 1904. Uh, what do you... Uh, four. That's number four? Yeah. Why does it feel like you have more? No. no. All right, you're killing it right now. Let's keep on going. Yeah, Dude, are you having fun yet? A uh, little bit. A little bit? Time All right, good. Yeah. He's having a good day. Uh, we both read over this. It is definitely another coin, and it's probably a barber or a seated again. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Um, see if my spray bottle's in there again. Let's get the man. He's killing it. Getting the old stuff too. A little more. Oh, I see a date on the bottom. I think it's a barber. It's a Barbie. Another Barbie. 1902 Barber Dime. Nice, dude. You called that one all the way. You're like, you actually go, hey, Rich, this is for you, buddy. And like, you were going to tell me to dig it. And I'm like, I can't do that kind of stuff. I don't do that. You found it. Um, it is uh, yours to keep. Give me a good spray now that I have it all mudded up. Let's see if we have any mint marks. I think it's another O. Oh, it's an O? I mean, it might be another O. Oh, my gosh. Here, do it that way. Here, yep, it is another O. Good job. What is it? 1902 O. Awesome. Barber Dime. You're killing it. Two barbers and a seated out of here and all these Indians. We're, we're doing great. Let's keep on going. Great job. Did you? All right, so there are days that, like, you know, we were just talking about this on our way out. Like, you, you don't get disgruntled. You don't get disgruntled. You don't get upset when someone else is finding stuff. But you, like, get, like discouraged you're like oh my god i can't find anything this is my day i can't find a thing these guys are killing it he's got every indian here pretty much except for uh one that uh he got oh it's another 18 something 1896 1896 indian dude 1896 buddy congratulations that's number five all right well i got a cool find this is probably the best find of the day um I'm just kidding, guys. It's not. It's a little compact. It actually still has the red rouge oh, that's cool. makeup still in there. Um, now, I'm, I put the camera on because Dave got another silver. To the way, huh? Magic wand. You betcha. It's going to be something cool. No, that. No, it ain't. Huh? Oh, it's just a, it's uh, a Merc. It's a Merc. It's a Merc. Okay. It's a Merc. Oh, it's an early one. 1923. 1923 Mercury Dime. Well, how many is that for you today? Two. Two? That's it. You got two? Yeah. Wow. And he got one. So it's five for the day already. That's not bad. I'm going to I'm gonna get on the board. I'm going to find the best one. I don't know when it's going to be. Or Can you do the magic? Do the magic, please. Bippity boppity, you betcha. All right, good. Maybe I'll find it next. All right, we got number six for the day, guys. And we were just talking about nickels. Uh, I did get one modern nickel. Uh, one Jefferson, but he had... He got himself another nickel, but was it reading nickel numbers or was it a little higher? No, it was it was higher. I was going. Yeah, after war nickels that. are a little bit higher. They'd be like thirteen, fourteen sometimes. So it is definitely a war nickel yeah. at nineteen forty-three. 
Uh, not really worried about the mint mark because it's probably, you know, I mean, it would either have it right above the Monticello there. So let's see. Well, it's a P. Nice job, dude. I'll take it. It's you eat you got two. I got how many? Oh wait, I got zero. All right, we got some nickels now. We are. We were just talking about how we can't find nickels, but we did get a uh, war nickel, a regular nickel, and he got himself buffalo. A buffalo. You know, if you're in Vegas, it's buffalo, like they do with the uh, the slot machines. All right, there you go. You can see the buffalo there. Any will be here. The date will be there. I'm not sure we're gonna get a date. It's pretty muddy. Um, just because the, it's still raining and it's cold and Beautiful. I don't have a jacket. <laughs> Lucky me. So, all right, guys, we'll kick up back at you. Congrats. Thanks, man. Rich, have you found any silvers today? I'm like, no. And I literally popped the silver as you said it. I'm not even kidding you. It's just, it was just crazy. All right, let me flip you around. It's not too exciting, but it is a Merc. Well, I hope it, you know, like the best one, like I said, I hope it's like the best one, like a 1916D but it's probably not going to be. Not my luck, no, it's a 35, 36. 1936 Mercury Head Dime. My first for the day, yay! Woo! Yeah. I'm only one behind you now, guys. Oh, yeah. Each, two, they all have yeah, two apiece, so. There, but. but it's seven for the day, let's keep on going. We're all tied up and I'm happy about it, so. Two Mercs. I was reading a little high, it's, it seems small. I mean, I could be wrong though. Who knows? I can't even get a date on it. Man, it's really... It's like odd, because it almost looks like it's the edges are gone. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but I got a Merc. I got two for the day. Everyone got two for the day. So we got eight total in this yard, which is kind of crazy. And it was such a small area. I mean, it's only right... Like, lined it out right to there, to there, and around. Like, it's such a small area, and we just killed it here with wheat pennies, Indians, silver. We are going to move on to another spot, so we're going to try to see what else we get from there. So, uh, Roy's got a new find, um, and we're going to keep on, we're going to probably move on. Um, he got another signal in here. We don't know what this one is. It might be just a regular modern penny, oddly enough, just because. Uh, but he did get an Indian. Or did he get two Indians? Let's hmm. see what you get. Oh, doing a grass rub. Yeah, just Ooh, trying to no get some of the rub. water off just it. It's a straight it's grass gonna, rub. It's, oh, it's, it's a weedy. Bit. It's a weedy, yeah. It's a weedy. All right, so we got a, he got a Indian head penny over here, which is really nice. 1908. It could have a mint mark. That's uh, one of the rarer ones. So we'd have to look a little bit and clean it up a little bit more. But yeah, 1908. It's a nice one that if it was, it would only be an S and it would be right down here underneath the wreath. So, um, yeah, it's a nice way to end this yard, right, dude? Yes. <laughs>